What's up, gang? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. It's Throwback Thursday time. I had a request for this little Johnny Cash jam for a while. So let's do it. We'll show you some easy little tips to also do. I'm gonna use four chords. An A minor, for your verses, A minor, which is the second string of the first fret, fourth and third of the second fret. And you strum with the bottom five. The actual thing you're gonna do for, as far as that picking pattern, you know, you can use a pick or your thumb, five, four, and then strum all five. You're gonna pluck the fifth and fourth. Then you can go to a regular C chord. You, usually, yeah, I play a C add nine. If you only know that one, that's fine. You lock up two bob strings, fifth and six. What I'm gonna do, again, from the A minor, all you do is take your ring finger to the fifth string, and you're there for a regular C chord. So second, fourth, and fifth. Same thing. Five, four, then strum all five. Then you can go to a regular D chord, third bottom of the second fret. So first finger, third string, middle finger, bottom, ring finger in the second string, third fret. And then you'll go four, three, and strum. So the whole time, like I said, I'm gonna use actually use a pick. A lot of times songs like this where you're picking out the song, I can use a pick. So it's Notice how there's a little pause after the A minor two. I always say music's about timing, so it's pause, then you go straight. Yeah, after that pause, you do the C and D chord consecutive. Keys I've said this in my, my beginner guitar my beginner guitar courses. One of the keys too, when you pick out individual strings, it makes you learn the chord in the right precise way. Because when you're picking out strings, if you're if you're kind of dead in a string, it'll sound like that. So you want to make sure you really get your fingers callous, pressing the right strings to get that. So now you're going to the chorus. We're going to learn use two more chords here. A G. I said four chords. There's five chords. A regular G chord. Yeah, I put the pinky finger in the bottom string, ring finger in the second, and go fifth and fourth. Strum all six. So again, that's this is kind of my Matt McQueen four chords. Keep those bottom two locked. That's the G chord I'm going to play. And then for an F chord, you press. This was always tricky for me as a beginner. Press in the bottom two strings of the first fret and go third, fifth, and fourth. Always a difficult chord for me to play the F chord. So, what have I? so you're gonna do a four count, A minor. song to play like i said that hopefully you can get that transition from that f where you just take your pinky finger off and move the third finger up and boom you're into that c as you know i i've said this many times in other videos i always struggled going to that regular c chord i quit guitar for years because of that that's why i usually teach from this g to slide down to that c at nine on the matt mccoy chords you go g c d e minor that kind of thing because i always struggled could not play an it i sure as heck couldn't play an f but I couldn't even play that C there either. So if you struggle with that, like I said, maybe you want to look for the four chord songs, G, C, E minor, and D, and play that C that way. 
you know, if you're new to kind of guitar, that kind of thing. But it's a fun song to play. Like I said, anytime you have picking, where it's kind of. I love throwbacks. Uh, this, this is kind of big time throwback anytime you're doing Johnny Cash, right? I'm more of the Travis Tritt, Alan Jackson, Garth Brooks, Alabama, Lori Morgan, Joe Diffie, that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, if you like the throwbacks or you just need some easy songs to play, please check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. It's all one word out there, bro. Countrysongteacher.com. I got prime country songbooks, four chord songbooks, strumming courses, all kinds of fun stuff. And just released my actually. Actually, my uh, beginner guitar course just released that. So, go check it out. In the meantime, subscribe and like. I'll see you all tomorrow. Let's go.